Hello everybody, my name is Taylor DeGrace, that was Sweet Leaf by Black Sabbath, and welcome to the show. So we're playing RimWorld again, of course, and uh, in the last episode I said that I would be probably playing a little bit in my downtime, but uh, that didn't happen because I was a little busy last night. So we are here and working at the colony yet again. I kind of forgot what actually happened yesterday. Uh, not... I'm trying to say, not say ah so much. It's hard. It's a really hard verbal crutch that I think everyone has to kind of get over at some point. I'm just going to set a timer on my phone real quick because I was playing the music from my phone. Start. And now we are actually in this. So, what is new with you guys? It is Friday today, June 5th, I believe. And uh, it is a beautiful day out. We actually, in southern Ontario, we're getting amazing weather right now it is i live in probably one of the most humid areas in ontario it's probably i've heard that it's probably like the most like it's like the armpit of ontario because it's so humid and warm around here most of the other areas in, in canada are actually like are really dry like at west and even northern ontario is super dry because like there's certain areas where we just don't get as much precipitation. Wow, this is the most exciting video ever, talking about freaking precipitation. Uh, Mackenzie is making some stone blocks, which is good. We are... You know what I was said I was going to do yesterday, and I need to do, like, now? I need to build a security fort. Um, security fort. All forts are kind of like security forts. But I think I'm going to make it... I don't really know. I think I should probably make it like this this way and then down. I just don't know how I want to do this. Uh, I think maybe I could literally just and I wouldn't make this out of marble. I would make it out of limestone. That being said, we really don't have any limestone to be made yet. Uh, maybe I'll make it out of marble, but I... Mm, it's kind of iffy right now. Because, like, I don't want to use... I don't want to, like, use all of my marble on, like, that, especially when I have limestone as, like, an option. I'm probably going to just move this queue up, and then I'm going to have her do that. Something that we should also prioritize working on is probably building this way and building another bedroom. We only have 152 wood, but there's no reason we can't just order these guys to chop down more wood. More wood, more wood, please. We all need so much more wood. I don't know, that wasn't a reference. Sometimes it might sound like I'm making references, but most of the time I'm just acting crazy. Uh... Oh, and he's making this one to show how murderous that lady was. I remember. That's where all of our marble chunks are going. To. Oh, you know what? This was a mistake. I'm going to put this up for, for now because I'm going to have him make this. And then I'm going to have them make uh, better defenses over here. I'm also probably going to have them chop down all the trees over here. Just because like, when there's trees, there's little areas for the guys to hide around. Orders. Chop wood. Oh, one col colonist's returned. Client has re returned after being shown off as an exotic human specimen in the court of Praetor Theodos. Hmm. Klein is back. Exotic human specimens in the court of Praetor. Exotic human specimens. Klein is definitely exotic, that's for sure. Um, mostly because, like, I think the most exotic thing about Klein is the fact that she actually likes to mine. Klein, you don't really have much to do right now, so I'm going to have you craft. And if, you, if you're if you not going to craft that, you can craft this. The Taylor bench is fine. How <laughs> the Taylor bench. That's funny. I didn't realize I get my own bench in this game. That was like the lamest thing I probably ever said. I'm I I, I will leave now. 
One colonist idle. Why are you... Dumbo, you are always going to be idle, so that's not even a big deal. I need art... I need, like, artistic stuff, because, like, I have... I can put a med meditation spot pretty much anywhere. But I don't really have anything to meditate to right now. I don't have any, like, high art or anything. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna plunk it down. I doesn't really matter. I I just want the I want the notification to go away, so I'm just gonna plunk one down, and they can meditate there if they need to. Um, Psy focus. They're losing their Psy focus right now, and I'm gonna schedule because he is our uh, psionic character. I'm going to have them meditate for the first like four hours of every day, or. Maybe three. I don't know if three or four is the best. Because you're just trying to, like, build this meter up, and it's not like people attack all the time. Although there are probably instances where you use too much of your Psy Focus and you get attacked by somebody else, and it just turns out to be a really bad time for everyone involved. I wonder if this game, like, what this game would be rated if it had to be played on, like, consoles. Because there is drug use in it, so I would say that it would probably be rated M for Mature. Although the drug use isn't, like, glorifying drug use. A lot of the times the drug use in this game is actually, like, it it's making... Uh, okay, Klein needs a place to sleep. And I guess Klein can bunk out in here for now. Klein can bunk out there. Uh, I'm going to need... Looks like they already chopped down a bunch of... The... Oh, okay. The worst thing ever is when that happens. I hate that. I hate when, like... I hate when your lines randomly go on fire. It's so annoying. Although it didn't sound very annoying with the way I just said that. It, it is super annoying, because, like, you can... Like, depending on where in the line something's going wrong, like... Depending on where in the line that something's actually going wrong, like, like it could destroy your whole base, essentially. And if you're not paying attention to it or you're in combat and that something like that happens, oh, like, watch out. Because, like, that would be, like, the worst combination of things to happen ever. It looks like uh, Taylor and Mackenzie are getting on while Dumbo's in the room. That's not very nice not really respectful at all but you know I did kind of stick Dumbo in the room with her so maybe just maybe I'll give my main colonist some privacy and I'm not gonna wake Dumbo up because you know she's already she's already been traumatized so what's the point at this point I really do like the way that my base looks so far I like moving it like this way and uh Part of me wonders if I even want to, like I might just build over here instead of building this way because I really like having a really defensible farm farmland that like nobody can access so like I can grow my food over here and I can build my base more down towards this area because your base is a lot more defensible than your farmland and I hate when raiders come in and just start burning your crops. Because crops are probably one of the most important things that you really need to defend. And there's just so much room back here. It, it seems like it would be a waste, like defensively, it, it would be a waste to not use this farmland as farmland. And another, th and another thing, because we have somebody who's so good at mining, I might actually just mine a lot of this stuff out. Uh, hmm. I want to see like how... how one would go about doing this. Just because, like, I don't want anything to crumble and kill Klein, because that's something that I always have trouble with, is because I don't know how, how far the distance has to be and, like, how much support you need. So I'm going to, like... My plan is to mine out each of these little columns and then put little stone blocks in there. Not stone blocks. I'm going to put, uh, like, wood there. Just because, like, this... 
these two chambers need to be separated because this is cold storage and this is not. Uh, something that I'm also probably going to start building or start moving is I'm probably going to start moving the uh, production tables over into here. Especially when we get a TV going. Because like I'm going to need more room in this area. I'm going to delete, deconstruct this for now. Klein should be working on not that right now, but she is. Although, whatever Klein's doing right now, it's going to make us a lot of money, because, like, you know, rolling joints, essentially, is going to make us tons of money. Uh, they sell for a good amount. Like, it's a good cash crop to get. Probably not as valuable as the other drugs in the game are, like the harder drugs, but, like, I don't really want to get into that, because, like, I think having, doing something like that, it just... It doesn't feel right to me, and that doesn't really feel like the kind of game that I want to play. If I was ever going to research drug production, it would be only it would only be to make medicine. Just because, like you know, it seems like the other the other chemical based drugs make everyone addicted to them, and you have to always have it. So it just seems like kind of a pain in the neck to always have to always maintain that level. Because like, there's already so many levels that I have to maintain for these guys anyway. So it seems like having like dealing with addiction is just one more thing that I don't want to have to deal with. It seems like something that I might want to get into dealing with like later, like when I'm more experienced at the game. Like maybe we'll have like a specifically maybe we'll do like a drug selling colony at some point. But it's not really that's not really the point of my colonies. Like a lot of the times, like I like to sell art instead. Like I like to be like an art selling colony usually. Like that's how I make a ton of my money. Uh, that's normally how I make most of my money in these games. Why wasn't that being constructed? I think that your heart's in the right place, my dude, but you need to construct. Because constructing should be your top priority right now. And Klein, uh, their top priority should be... Their top priority should be mining. Instead of crafting and mining's above crafting because like the way this works is that it you guys don't know how it works i'm sure you guys do it's from left to right these are the priorities that you can't change so like firefighting if it's one if firefighting's one and research is one they'll always do firefighting first because it is further ahead in this like in like how you should actually prioritize everything because like this is like the set order and then putting the numbers down here makes it so that you can change the set order. So having someone having someone research is good, but I don't I want to make sure that they're that my guy is constructing a oh, French bulldogs French bulldogs really. I love I love that idea. But that is way too many French bulldogs. Whew. So, this is going to make me unpopular as hell, but I'm going to call most of these guys. Just because, like, I don't... I'll keep I'll keep them as pets. I'm not going to keep the super old ones. Unfortunately. They've, uh, they've lived their lives. I'll keep... I'll keep two breeding pairs. How about that? And then we'll have Mackenzie, who's a good animal trainer, train them. And then we can just breed French Bulldogs. How about that? Uh, I'm worried that they're going to eat too much, though. Like, there's just another mouth to feed. Um, I'm just going to... I only have... Yeah, I don't have that many potatoes, so I'm only going to keep one breeding pair. And since you're the one who's going to make it, male French Bulldog. Um, Pete. I'd call you Pierre, but I... I, this is offensive, but I probably can't even spell Pierre, let's be real. And uh, all the Pierres that I've met in my life, not to be offensive to the fine Pierres out there, if you're listening, Pierre, but all the all the uh, Pierres that I've met have been jerks. And uh, just trying to think of a name that I can spell. I'm going to call you Ella. So Ella and Pete are our two dogs. If they die, they die. 
I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna be too upset about it. I'm gonna train them to do guarding and attacking, obviously. And I'm gonna go to animals, switch to Pete, the male French bulldog, guard, attack, Bob's your uncle. And I feel I feel so horrible because like I I hate the idea of like a bunch of dogs joining and then I have to slaughter most of the dogs, but I didn't really get any option of whether or not the dogs are gonna join or not. And honestly, there's just too many mouths to feed. Like, like they probably eat a very small amount because they're little. But, I mean, I, I'm probably going to, like, raise a few of them. Like, I'm going to, like, have the breeding pair, and then I'm going to have them always be mating and always, like, producing, like, the puppies that I'm going to sell. I don't know if the dogs have litters in this game or not. I feel like they only have one dog at a time. But that might not be true. It's crazy that dogs have like litters in real life and the dog and the dog litters are like like the dogs are pretty like, it doesn't take a long time for a puppy to be turned into a dog like it only takes like a few months as opposed to humans which takes like years for a human to mature like it takes forever in comparison look at me comparing humans and dogs sammy are you getting properly dealt with no you're not wow I'm a fucking whole, I'm I'm sorry for almost swearing there. I didn't enunciate, so I feel like it doesn't count, but wow, that could have gone horrible for me. Uh Do I want to keep this person because they're good at art? That is a good question. They are really good at art. They're really good at crafting. I'm going to keep them because they're going to be a money maker. Also, I like their name because it's what I call sandwiches. Sammy. Oh, can I get a bologna and cheese Sammy, please? I feel like if I asked for a bologna and cheese Sammy for my mom, she'd probably just never feed me. That's not true. My mom's, my mom's a great gal. Okay, who's in charge of slaughtering these animals? Because these, these are some bad animals. Klein, you're the best with animals. You slaughter them. I hate the noise that they chose for the slaughtering of the animals. I mean, they had to choose some sort of noise. I just hate that they chose that noise. Because it's sad. Because I don't like slaughtering animals if I don't have to. But in this situation, I kind of had to. They're still eating nutrient paste. I should get them on a system where I can actually feed them regular meals. But I'm probably going to do that after the seasons are over. Because I already have all of, all of my stuff up and ready to go. Something else that I'm also going to need is I'm probably going to need to hunt a few of these guys. Just to get, my, get myself through the winter. I'm going to slowly hunt them all. I think Mackenzie is our hunter. Yeah. I'm going to slowly hunt them one by one. Hopefully they don't try to get revenge on me. But I'm just going to try to hunt them as like best as I can. So like they're all kind of running away from the area now. Like that's a that's a cool AI is that they actually like flee from the area. building this monument which is good everything seems to be going really well with this colony so far i'm i'm trying to make it like a really good aesthetically pleasing on top of the fact that it's like uh can you prioritize working on this blueprint i know that you want to smoke my dog it is not the time for that The most important thing about smoking is choosing the appropriate time to smoke. There are appropriate times to smoke, and there are inappropriate times to smoke. And I really need stuff built right now, so if you could just stop smoking your uh, marijuana, that would be great. Marijuana. Someone can't kill. Oh, by the way, I don't live in America. I live in Canada. Le weed is completely legal here. 
So if you're wondering, like, if I'm talking about an illegal substance in my country, it is not illegal. And uh, because of that, I live in a better country. Just because, like, prohibition doesn't work, people. It just doesn't. Well, I, you know, it does work. It punishes, like, good, hardworking people who just want to enjoy themselves. Um, it punishes those people, but it doesn't really help everybody else. I keep looking at colonists idle Dumbo just because it bothers me to see that one of them is idle. I kind of like, I might just keep the wall looking like this because it looks really unique. Fresh frozen won't spoil. All right. So I think I've kind of made up my mind on like what I want to, where I'm going to build my next room. I think it's going to be, it's going to be like this. So seven and then eight. So that's going to be like the little entrance way and this is going to be the whole thing. I'll probably have like, I might just have like a hallway going up this way. I'm going to stop it there just so I know where the hallway starts and the room begins and then I'll build more of the hallway later. Klein, your job is not to craft, it is to mine. And someday you'll learn that. Someday you'll know. Okay, my character's still working on this. Very good. Oh, so the one thing that I really, really like about playing in Boreal Forest maps is that they actually get wi like winter, like real winter. And that's the reason I'm actually playing on this. So right now it's actually hard snowing out. So that's you're probably seeing it fall from the sky right now. What I appreciate about the hard snow coming down is that, I don't know, it's just, it's it's nice because, like, I like that the the, the ground gets all white and stuff. Like, it, it I don't know, it's, it's just a cool feature. Like, something that really annoys me about playing on the Temperate Forest map, which is the map you're kind of supposed to play on when you first start out, is that, like, there's no winter. Like, winter doesn't really exist, and if it does, like... It, it pretty much just affects grow periods and it doesn't really affect the actual aesthetics of the map, which is annoying as a Canadian. I know I mentioned the fact that I'm Canadian a lot, but it, it it's relevant. Uh, we're living in a time where national identity, I think, is important. Especially because, like, I'm proud to be a Canadian. Like, it's cool. We live in a really cool country. It's, it's very unique. Uh, I think... I'm going to go to raw resources, plant matter, smoke, smoke leaf, and then storage. I'm going to put these away for now, just because like I, I'm going to put those in here for now, just because like, I want it to be colder. And I'm going to put a door between these two areas just so it's not like the end of the world to get between both of them. I'm gonna speed up a little bit more. Everything's good, everything's heated. We have a lot of steel, we have a lot of components, we have everything that we need to do well in the game. And as you can see, it is now white on the ground, which is nice because it is now winter. Well, it's not winter for another few days, but winter comes at the end of, like, uh, fall, and it actually comes okay, kind of early. Uh, all right, Klein's actually digging out that area, because we're going to need, we're going to need this place for Klein. Uh, no. Yeah, actually, I'm going to need it for Klein. Because like this, this is gonna be like our. This is gonna be like where we have house guests and where we have our prisoners. Cause like, you always want to be able to have 
at least one prisoner in there. And that's a... This monument's kind of cool because it's like, you know, it's pretty small. Okay. You must not destroy it for at least 15 days, otherwise Venabum will go down in goodwill. Which ones are we trying to get? Okay, so Venabum is one of the ones that we're trying to get, like, really good goodwill for. The Exodus Empire is also one that we should try to, like, gain, like, work with. If, um... This is another one that, like, I'm also trying to, like, make them a little less hostile towards us. And you can see that we're trying to work on it, because I think it starts out at minus 80, and then it just slowly goes down, depending on, like, what type of uh, village they are. But it'd be really cool, and, like, this is something that, like, I fantasize about. It'd be really cool to join the pirates and become a pirate in the game. Quest available. Guarding Foster. Alright, who's this for? Oh, Venabum, the, the people that I'm trying to, to work with here. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm going to take a sip of water and then and then say this with my best voice. I'm just gonna put this on two speed while I read this. Lamilla Jacobs, Prime Counselor Venabum, wants you to stash a special prisoner for her. The prisoner, an 18-year-old budding artist named Jova Foster, knows embarrassing information about Jacob's plant-growing skills. And Jacob's doesn't want her to be freed. You need to keep her prisoner for 10 days until the scandal passes. Alright. I will definitely take this. I will take it once I actually have this room built out, because we have 7 days to accept it. You gotta be really careful about like when you accept stuff, because like you well, it's not that you have to be careful you just have to be aware that you don't have to accept everything immediately and you can build your colony in a way that makes it a little easier but i think having a faction that i'm actually like doing really well with will be really good because like i need somebody to defend me to, to pretty much defend my honor when like uh raiders are coming in and i need to be able to call for support i just don't like i've never really called for support from an enemy from like like a not an enemy faction, but like a like an allied faction. I've never actually done that. I, the only people I've called support from has been like the Shattered Empire, or in this case, the Exodus Empire. It's cool to me that like they changed the like they name they named the empire different things depending on like what save you're in because it kind of reminds me of um, it reminds me a lot of Star Wars because like they have like the First Order, which was like their answer to like what happened with. It was like. Like, the First Order is, like, like a splinter group that, like, of the Empire. I'm not, I'm not that intelligent when it comes to Star Wars. I've watched a few, like, Star Wars, like, podcasts and stuff. But, like, the, the First Order is, like, a splinter off of the Empire where, like, they specifically trained, like, children to, like, be their Force Adepts and stuff. Which I thought was just a really cool concept. Uh, I really, I, I've always think, I've always thought the dark side was way more interesting than the light side in Star Wars. Just because it's like, who's to say a moth doesn't have great dark side power? And who's, like, they probably are. They probably do have great dark side power. They just, their power just represents itself in a different way. Like, they just can't. They just, oh, snap. This is horrible. And if we had gasoline anywhere close to this, that would be even worse. I hate fires. Fires are... Fires are horrible. Now, the, now that I say that, I think I'd like to maybe get some fire foam poppers to, like, store... Like, what the hell? Like, there's... How did two... Oh, fire starting spree climb. All right. Well, if you're... Like, I would arrest you, but I'm not going to. I hate that you're starting fires in my storage area specifically. That's, like, the worst. Don't light the wood on fire. Don't light this on fire. Don't light the AK-47 on fire. Oh, we actually have that, which we bought last time. Uh, Klein. Uh, when will this fire starting spree end? Klein, why do you want to set it all on fire? Like, is, are you smoking a little too much of the hashish? 
Klein should be like mining stuff out. Klein smoking a fatty after he just lit like sorry she just lit like our whole freaking base on fire. That's nice. But you know if it's if stuff stressful stuff stressful. Okay, so this can be suspended for a little while. I need more stone blocks because now the next thing I'm going to build is the next thing I'm going to build is going to be now that we have that like monument done, I'm going to move this up and then we're going to make a limestone barricade essentially because I'm going to have it so probably I'm going to have like a line of structure going down this way so that like this kind of joins into that and then it basically like this is going to be like where the guys stand and this is just going to be a wall so that they can't um they can't come around and attack us and they're they're gonna have to they're gonna have to come down this way and they're gonna have to expose themselves a little bit more because like the problem with like having like say like putting them right here is that like when they come around the corner they're going to be right there i need a little bit of room to shoot them so like that's why I, that's why like i put the barricade down here in the first place i might even move it down a little bit more but there's another geothermal vent here i don't think i'm going to need more than one though because like usually you don't need more than one geothermal vent because like it's a really powerful way to get it's just a really powerful way to get energy. It takes a lot of research though, so if you have to be willing to put in the time and effort to do that. All right, we're gonna go to three, three speed that is, and we're gonna continue here. Yeah, one of the things we need more, we need more bedrooms because like we're gonna need we need one for Klein immediately, and we're gonna need another one just because I like to have, I like to have the ability to have prisoners because prisoners are good for getting goodwill between like the two colonies. I might, I might probably make like a, a prison up here, or mm, I might make it either up here or, oh, we're getting a raid by the Nutty Cutters, so a pirate raid. So, I don't know if they're attacking immediately. I'm just going to assume that they are. I'm going to move all of my my people down here. Klein, since you are actually a decent shot, I believe, yes. So they're a decent shot, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put them down here, and yep, they're coming immediately. Yeah, they have a long way to go, and they have, like, almost no cover either. Gonna have Klein move up into a region that has a little bit more. Oh, they Klein can't even shoot right now because they've got the gear on, but they're fleeing anyway. So yeah, there's not much you can do in that situation. F F and wake up. I am not going to take that because I have no ability to even make any of that. So I don't want my I don't want my colonists to get addicted to it if I don't have any way for them to have it. Cause like I don't need them having like mental breakdowns because they can't have their fucking drugs. Also, I am so sorry for swearing right there. Um, I just uh, I get a little upset when uh, people have mental breakdowns for that. Uh, you know what? I feel like I because I dropped an f bomb, I won't be able to put this and make this for kids on YouTube and like that's upsetting but you know what maybe I sh maybe my audience should not be for kids like maybe it should be for like more adult style people I don't know I that's something that I kind of like I struggle back and forth with because I have a really hard time dropping all my of my f-bombs and stuff uh what would be a really cool graveyard 
Um, do I really need Cool Greg? I think that I might just start with a crematorium because like I the graveyards get too big and like it's cool that the people like to visit them and I will build graves for like the colonists that I'll build I'll build graves for the colonists that actually need the graves uh, I'll build a marble crematorium here and I'm gonna put a chair there too I feel like this is an appropriate place to put the crematorium. I really don't know where else you'd put it, and like, there's plenty of room in here. Furniture, chair. And then I'm gonna also shrink the stockpile zone so no one puts anything there. Uh, shrink zones, zone shrinked. Sweet. Okay. So. One colonist idle Dumbo. Area revealed, new area has been revealed. Sweet. So now that I actually probably have some of those blocks, limestone wall. Hmm. I'm just wondering how I actually want to do this. I think. I'm going to deconstruct all of this and then build something new. Having the shield user have a ranged weapon was really stupid on my part, so I'm going to move them over here and I'm going to make them I'm going to make them drop the weapon. Uh, I was thinking about maybe not having them drop the weapon and pick up a different type style of weapon, but having people who can attack at a range is good. And I'm not having, I'm not having, I'm not putting my guys on the offensive. That's just not how I play. Shield belt is, that's what I was trying to put down. Drop. Sweet. So now, Klein, you can go back to mining. Wow, he only deconstructed one area. That's nice. Probably because they're attempting to recruit Sammy, which is, it's valuable. It's an important thing. And that's going to go, that's going to take a while, but once we have them doing that, like we can have somebody else on uh, art, artistic construction. All right. And so, oh, Taylor failed while constructing dining chair. Some resources have been wasted. No. All right. Where should I install this? I'm going to install this here, and then I'm going to put a meditation spot, like right in front of it. Hopefully that keeps keeps things out of the way. How are my rooms doing? Apparently my room's beauty is hideous, but probably because it's so dirty in there. All right. A wooden wall. Build that out. And then Bob's your uncle. I think I'm going to build more of a hallway going up this way. And I'm going to build this guy out. I'm going to build it like that first so that the wall doesn't collapse in on itself. My character went to sleep earlier than everybody else. You're supposed to deconstruct this stuff over here, man. Why didn't you do that? I feel bad that Klein has to keep sleeping in the rec room, but there's really nothing else I can do. I should have just made beds for them, and then I could just move the beds later. But whatever. They're not They're not going to have a mental breakdown. They're, they have a sleeping spot. They should be fine. Although, it's probably so uncomfortable to sleep on a wooden floor. Although, 
pretty much all Klein does all day is mine mine stones. So like she's probably getting so exhausted that like she just works until she collapses. Yeah, actually, like meditate to something, my dude. And his I see his side focus is actually going up. I'm glad that, like, we pretty much haven't had any damage done to us. Okay, sweet. We haven't really had any, like, a, like a ton of damage done to us. Like, we haven't needed any treatment so far. The, not that I can think of. I might have needed treatment, actually, now that I think about it. It's just, it's hard to place whether or not I actually needed it or not. Uh, looks like over here there's way more limestone. But deeper into the mountain, it looks like there's more marble. So, like, I, it looks like over on this side is where it's limestone, and, like, up here it's, like, it's all marble. I think marble looks better than limestone. Not, like, actually, but, like, I'm pr like I just I believe it, it looks better than limestone. Have you deconstructed all of these yet? No, we deconstructed one more. Sick. Okay, he's finally done it. And it's about time too. It's time to join the DK crew. Alright, so I'm going to say that... What if we did something like this? say cancel these few I'm gonna make this a little larger because we don't have that many areas to shoot this is much better and then we're gonna go to defenses or security I'm always looking for defenses for some reason and we're gonna make limestone barricades too And hmm. probably put a wooden door here and a limestone wall here as well. This is just so like, I you know it's it, it's a defensive structure. Now the way they could get around this is by going around here. So. Uh, Maybe I'll put, uh, maybe I'll put this down like that. I don't know if that'll completely work, but I, I think that should most likely make things a lot easier to defend. And I think the way that I built this is going to make it so that we're going to have a lot of opportunities to shoot them. I'm going to need a lot of limestone for this though. So, if this isn't already suspended, I'd like to... Yeah, it's already suspended. I think it's just because I have Klein working on so much mining as it is. Okay, floors. I'm going to say that you are going to make marble tile for these floors. And this is probably going to become my uh, new main room here for these guys. Because this is more like a hospital anyway. Or maybe I'll just give it to Klein and then kick her out whenever uh, I need access to the room. Unfortunately, if you're in my colony, you're probably a second class citizen. Because like the first class is my characters, and the second class is everybody else. But that's like a horrible way to run a, 
I feel like that's a horrible way to run a government. Or it's the way that everyone runs their governments. Uh, okay, I believe that's correct. And then I don't even know why I have it paused right now. I'm waiting for night to finish anyway. So at some point, what would be cool to do would be like a no pausing run. That would be interesting. Always having to play it. Exotic good trades from Venabum. Venabum is approaching. Okay. And they have exotic goods. Interesting. I don't know what I'm going to buy from them. Quest of Oil, Royal Ascent. I... Like, I, I probably... Like, if I'm going to get off the planet anyway, it's probably going to be through that. And I'm going to now trade with Pope. I wonder why they're called Pope. Hmm. Okay, Plasteel. We have 195 Plasteel. I don't... Should I sell it now and make a bunch of money? Or should I wait and then use it later. I think I should just wait and then just enjoy the plast deal that I have and it might never come up, but at least, you know, I won't spend the rest of my life wondering. They have a Siamese cat. That's cute. If they had a if they had a Sphinx cat, I'd probably try to to get that. Ooh, this might be this might be worth getting. No trainer crafting. We have we have a bunch of crafters, but I feel like making somebody who's better at crafting is always going to be good. There's a mega screen television, a tube television, and a telescope. Those are going to be fine. I don't need those. But I think I'm going to trade enough of this that I don't have to sell anything. And it's not going to be that much. At least I hope it's not going to be that much. Like, just having like 100 would be fine. Like having 100 uh, plasteel. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm going to accept it. Oh, snap. Where did they put... Where did they put it? Yeesh. Wait, I thought we I thought we traded, good sir. Did did we trade? Yes, we did. I'm going to go trade with you guys again cuz where is my Oh, there it is. Never mind. For disregard. Disregard. So who gets the crafting neuro trainer? Klein Klein, I think, would be appropriate to get it, because they're just somebody who's going to be really good at crafting. Now, they're already good at so many so many different things, but this basically makes them like an invaluable member of the team. And they're really close to getting to level 8. I thought they were going to get to like level 10, but that's fine. One colonist idle Dumbo, major break risk. Klein, your work should not be that. It should not be constructing, it should be crafting. Why are you not crafting? That's why. Your work should be constructing, not crafting. All right, things are really shaping up here, and like we're actually finally getting like this room up here, which is nice. And the next thing I'm gonna have to build here is wooden wall. 
I know that's not much room for them to navigate, like it's kind of cramped interiors, but I, I don't care. Uh, cancel. Order mine. Get rid of that. E, move all that stuff. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to the base, especially over the winter. Uh, we're coming up to the end of the video. We're not, like, we're 10 minutes away. But I'm just kind of trying to think, like, what I'm going to probably do between today and tomorrow. And if I'm going to play any more of this, which I intend to. Like, I, I get a lot out of this game, even when I'm not playing, like, on recording. I'm probably going to, like, do some, like do just major work like the stuff that like we're planning on building is like this room this room uh those like having two rooms for colonists and that'll probably be our prisoner room always so uh, i'm trying to think of like any of anything else i'm gonna try to do oh the nutty cutters are raiding they're waiting for a bit then they'll attack Okay, well, that's stressful. I'm prioritize working on blueprint. Need limestone blocks. I'm gonna basically have these guys like make as much stuff as possible. Oh, okay, they're beginning their assault now. All right. Where am I going to hide? This isn't complete yet. It's it's really not complete yet. I was hoping that no one would try to like come attack us, but it's not complete, so I have to be really careful here cuz I don't I don't want this to get destroyed because I really don't want my I don't want my uh I don't want my I don't want my like reputation with that faction to go down, but I also really don't want to put my guys in, in harm's way. Fine, you don't have anything right now. Equip auto pistol. Dumbo, just stay right here, Dumbo. Klein. Okay, they're coming straight. It's coming right for us. Klein is not the best shot, and now there's somebody with a club coming after Klein, so I'm going to get Klein way the heck out of there. I'm getting shot down the hallway. Not good. All right, Mike, are you worth taking? Really good at cooking, really good at social. Uh, like, really good all-around person, but not worth taking forever. So I'm probably going to make a little bed spot here. And then I'm probably going, ah. Uh, you know what? They're just pirates. Okay, my dog is down for the count. Which one is this? Pete. Oh no, Pete. Like, let's get you. Uh, let's get you rescued here. All right, we we're gonna need a furniture, animal sleeping spots. Bam, bam. I'm gonna set this as medical for right now, so Klein can go sit in our bed. I know that's kind of creepy and weird, but like they need to get rest until healed, so that's fine. I'm going to have my character rescue this dog so that we can have still a breeding pair. I love how my character, like, <laughs> I love how my character helps the dog before he helps the other guy. Classic human behavior. Uh, what are you doing, man? Oh, 
Dumbo, you don't... Sadistic Rage, Klein. She's going to vent her anger on prisoners. All right, well, that's not happening. That's not how we run this colony. I will shoot you. You do not, you do not do that in our house. We don't attack prisoners. They didn't have any, they didn't have any choice in the matter. They came, they came across me and got captured. But the only people that I would try to capture are people that I would actually, the only people that I would actually try to catch are people who not catch. The only people I would try to capture and keep in my thing are people that I want to keep for the base anyway. But I can't capture and keep everybody. And I also can't keep everyone just to let them go because I don't have enough space. Oh, no. That's not good. A mad cougar. Um, okay. Cougars are not something I would ever want to have to deal with in real life. Thankfully, we don't have to. I love this death hallway. All right, that wasn't as hard as I made it sound. But it wasn't as hard as I made it. That wasn't as difficult as I made it sound. But I've had, I've had a lot of really bad issues with, uh, I've had a really, I've had a lot of really negative issues with cougars in the past. So they, uh, like they like to hang around the colony for a while. I'm also going to have them hunt this doe, doe, a deer, a female deer, the, the, uh, Muffalo is gone, which is unfortunate. I hope that I'm going to have enough limestone to actually be able to... Uh, probably going to have to mine out this limestone over here just to get enough... to be able to make the rest of this base. I have mostly marble, but I'm planning on using marble for sculptures mostly, because I feel like marble sculptures are going to be nicer than other sculptures. I also love when it like you want the rubble, the rubble doesn't appear. That's just uh that's just like the law of uh the law of let's plays. And I'm really hoping nothing collapses on this chick's head. Cause I would be really I get really upset when my miners die. Like when miners die, I'm pretty upset. Just like in real life. Like, just like in real life. When a miner gets killed, it's upsetting. Whether they're really young or whether they like to work underground. I, I feel like most miners probably don't like working underground. It's probably, like, one of the things where it's like, well, I get paid a lot, but I have to work underground for, like, a really long period of time. So, it pretty much sucks most of the time. Somebody's shooting? Oh yeah, she's shooting. Wow, they really hunted that doe far. Alright, well, it looks like this is going to be the last day of RimWorld uh, for this stream. I'm probably gonna, I might record something tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. I was gonna think, like, mostly I do these on weekdays, but uh, if there's, there's no, if there's a, if there's no reason not to do it, like, I'm definitely gonna work more on it just because like i i'm having a lot of fun with the rim world series this has been like the first week that i've that i've like been back to doing regular let's plays and it's been fun I, i've had a lot of i've had a really good time with it so far my character's building out that which is nice so what can you expect for tomorrow? Uh, we are definitely going to be expanding our base more. Uh, that's what I like to use. Like winter in winter in the boreal forest setting is really nice because you you have set times where you really can't grow anything. So 
building your base out, it like it gets more incentivized during the winter. Probably gonna do that. I'm probably gonna research some more stuff because like my research progress is very limited right now. Once I get more people, like once I get Sammy on the team, uh, says non-medical set owner. Alrighty, well, everyone's sleeping. That means the episode is just about done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I really did. I had a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like it because it uh, increases my visibility on YouTube and it makes me it makes YouTube know that like I'm actually making good content. If you watched the whole thing, leave a comment and just tell me how I did. Like I will respond to it. At this point in my YouTube career, I respond to pretty much every comment. So yeah. Uh, my name is Taylor DeGrace. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.